Jeff Reese Press Grease with rwgresearch.com. Open dash source dash energy. Video series. RWG OSD. Oversized Delta. Oh, boys and girls, the day has come. It's March 3rd. <clears throat> Ugh. It's March 3rd, 2016. So, I have temporarily wired up everything that I need to just to see this thing operate. I don't even need the LCD, but I put it on here anyway. So I got a Hall Effect in stop sensors right here. The Hall Effects are buried in the actual channel, so it's just the Hall Effect probe and then the actual electronics are out here for the adjustment and stuff. And I've got the Arduino with the ramps 1.4 connected. Uh, those are the um, uh, three stepper motor drivers. I don't remember what the name, the, the generic, the first, first version they ever made. Uh, I guess a popular version. I've got the uh, 5 volt power plugged into the laptop. That's where I'm getting the 5 volt power. So these guys are actually on right now. Okay, and then 12 volt power right here, which is connected to the power supply currently just to get the motors to operate. So here goes nothing. Yay, nothing exploded. Actually, they should be completely disabled. Yeah, all right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just play around with this guy and try to get it to, try to get it to move and operate. See what happens. Okay. I don't know how well this is going to work. Probably not as well as I'd hope as far as you guys seeing what's going on plus the printer the audio is probably going to be bad but let's just see if we can connect to this guy and then we'll try to move it and then we'll take a chance and try to home it motors might be backwards so okay we're connected so um like that. Reset the printer. Okay, let's reset. It's pulling 0.35 amps. Um, if I do a home, if it goes down, then I know I've got it backwards. Oh, okay. It's not good. Reset it again. Yeah. Okay, so only one, only one is working. Let's try. Uh, that's what I don't like about how this software really works. Let's just try a home and see what happens anyway. Okay. Going up, only one arm is going up. I don't know why that is. Um, oh, we can do Z. Let's reset. Because it just took off. check potentiometer too. It should be fine. All of the sensors are working but not activated. I don't know where to go from here. Uh, OK. 
Okay. So just check the stepper motor drivers you know. Oh, that's the Z. So the one I'm playing with is the Z. So the X and the Y are not functioning. Um, I won't really check the drivers. I'll just check the motors. I'm not too concerned about the motors. I believe they're working. So let's do some software configuration checks and see what we got. Okay, so basically. I've troubleshooted some things. I checked the end stops. I checked a few other things. I uh, just wanted to see what was going on. I checked the motors by switching out the other one. The only one that's working is the Z-axis. So what I did is I disconnected the LCD controller and I re-downloaded the firmware with no, with none of that. So now let's try to home it. Okay. See, we only get one axis of movement. That's the Z. And as you can see, I, I can control it. But that's the only one that works. So now we got to troubleshoot the, uh, the board and just make sure it's actually working correctly. It's very quiet. I'm very pleased with that. All right, well, I'll keep troubleshooting. Okay, well, I found the problem. After troubleshooting the drivers and checking pins and stuff, the voltages weren't quite right. This is hard to see, but if you look, that center connector is not even connected to the pins. Somehow I completely didn't get that in there. When I received these electronics, all the pins were bent anyway, so maybe that had something to do with it. <laughs> so literally, all these pins aren't even connected. Wow. That's bad. Okay, now that I've got those pins plugged in, I have a feeling it will work. I'm surprised that I did anything. All right. Connect. Now we'll home it. Now I bet it'll work. There we are. Okay, now I'm happy. Now we're happy. Oh, that's beautiful sounding. Let's, uh, let's go all the way down. It thinks it's all the way down. Okay, it thinks it's all the way down because that's just how I got all the stuff programmed right now. So let's let's skew it. I like watching it at a funny angle. Homing. Okay, home. It's so quiet. Although I got the motors turned down a little bit. It's only pulling. 0.47 of an amp right now in total as these are locked. Okay, well, success. Now we just got to do all the fine tuning. I want to actually calibrate it and just see how it operates. Thumbs up. All right, well that concludes this video. It's kind of shorter than normal. Probably liked it. Anyway, I go into so much more detail on stuff and software, and I've tried so many different things, and I don't even know how many I've actually recorded, but it'll be interesting, so look forward to that in the future. Uh, this was currently Marlin, and I actually try Repeater, and then I switch to something completely different, and we'll get there. Alright, peace out, God bless, have a good day, leave a comment, bye.